So I done my leaving cert in 2016 and I was 17 and at the time like every other leaving cert student you're under a lot of pressure to make decisions about your future, you're confused, um, you expected to know what you want to do with the rest of your life. Um, I always wanted to do nursing, it was something I always saw myself doing. I was kind of warned off it, I was told I wouldn't be able for it, not to do it, the work was too much, whatever, so I was left in a situation where I didn't know what I wanted to do. When it came to the CAO, I had food science, I had business, I had all sorts of everything, um, just for the sake of doing it. When it came to my Leaving Cert results, I ended up getting 415 points and I got two offers for um, food science courses in Cork, um, which I didn't take, thankfully. So the option to do a PLC came to me. Um, I was advised to do it by other family members as well. And beauty in here was something I always had an interest in. So I said, I might as well apply, I've got nothing to lose, I'd rather do something than sit at home. i done a PLT a level 5 in hairdressing, um, which was actually two years, so I ended up doing two years um, hairdressing. I ended up working then for the summer of I think it was 2018 and um, I figured that hairdressing just wasn't for me. I loved it but I knew myself that nursing was something I always wanted to do and I was going to listen to myself for once and do something for me. I ended up back in LCFE again. They had a pre-nursing course which I'm currently doing and I love it. And I have got the option now of furthering my studies and going on to study nursing at third level education. And I have applied to CAO again, uh, this time all nursing courses, no food science. And I have applied to UCAS as well and I've actually got offered a place to study um, nursing there. So I might end up going to Scotland to study to become a nurse. Uh, one step closer in years. Uh, so there were a number of factors kind of that influenced my decision um, to come back to education. I think the biggest one for me was working in an atmosphere that I wasn't all that comfortable with. I knew it wasn't for me. Um, again, it was just life experience, experiencing people and different life experiences. Um, and I kind of went with what I thought was right for me. Instead of listening to everyone else in the beginning, I should have just done what I wanted to do. Looking back now, um, if I had chosen to go with my first choice in the CAO, um, I think I would be very unhappy, to be honest. Um, it's not something I could see myself doing. Um, if I hadn't dropped out, I think I would have wasted four years of university and a, a lot of money that I could have spent kind of pursuing a career that I actually wanted to do. On completion of um, this course, I have the option to go on and study at third level. For me, I'm going to be applying to other um, nursing degrees um, in Ireland. You also have the option to apply through UCAS, um, which is the English system. Um, LCFE also have a link with LIT for further studies. The good thing about um, LCFE is you're eligible for um, the SUSE grant. Uh, they offer a level 5 and a level 6. 
to enroll uh, for a course here at LCFE, uh, you have the option to do uh, fill out an online application or you can do a written application uh, which you can request from the college. It took me a few years to kind of figure out where I actually wanted to be and what I wanted to do and uh, life experience really is what it took and I was 19 when I decided to go back to do uh, pre-nursing. I'm now 20 and I know where, what I want to do and where I want to go.